Today, on Running to Him, it is better to say nothing and be called wise than to talk and be proved a fool. If you are joining us in going through Proverbs, today's reading is Proverbs 13, verses 1 through 10, and we'll be concentrating on verse 3. Proverbs 13, 3 says this, The one who guards his mouth preserves his life. The one who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. Now, I've taken a little bit of poetic license with the title of the devotion today, but I think it points out exactly what Solomon was suggesting. And a little later in Proverbs, chapter 17, verse 28, Solomon repeats this admonition. Now, there is no clear evidence as to who first said, better to remain silent and be thought a fool than to speak and remove all doubt. It has been attributed to Abraham Lincoln, Mark Twain, and others. It certainly is true, especially today. My grandfather used to say about me, Blanchard's tongue hangs in the middle and wags on both sides. I was constantly talking. Now, there are a number of times when we as Christians need to keep our mouths shut rather than to speak up and stir trouble. Facebook gives many the opportunity to show people's lack of intelligence or the ability to just say just the wrong thing at the wrong time and be rebuked by thousands. Each Thanksgiving and Christmas, news articles appear giving advice on what subjects to bring up and what subjects to remain undercover at family meetings. The truth is that many subjects should remain silent at church as well. Now, it's never wrong to speak truthfully. But timing is important. When addressing something which is in the Bible or the church has taught throughout its history, a person can be confident of what is said is truthful. But there are many times that a specific truthful thought does not need to be expressed at that time. When you are unable to clearly state your position and then respectfully listen to another's position, it is not the time to express your opinion. This holds true in all circumstances. While you might be satisfied with what you say, the other person may not appreciate his or her not being able to respond. The Hebrew word which is translated in this verse, guard, means to blockade your mouth. The picture is of a city which purposely cuts itself off for the protection from the enemy. When we guard our mouths, we are protecting ourselves from saying something inappropriate or foolish. Now, the Germans have a saying, put your mind in gear prior to your tongue starting to wag. The Greeks have a saying, and they might say, keep your mind. We need to protect our mouths by carefully thinking of what, when, and why we are going to say something. We don't want to prove ourselves as fools. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus at runningtohim.net.